Hello guys, Roar95 here, and welcome back to Frosty Factions Let's Play Episode 5. I actually just recorded this episode and then realized I had my mic turned off, so I'm redoing it, but it's no big deal. Uh, in this episode, I'm pretty much just going to be showing you guys our new giant base that me and one of my faction members, Austin257893, helped me uh, make, which he's actually on right now. And it took two days. And we worked hours upon end, and it costed about $100,000 to fund all of the materials needed to make the base. So it was quite expensive, but it did pay off. And let's see now. the specifications of the base are there is a small uh, obsidian core covered in water. So like our valuables, it's like, is it low speed? It's like the, um, like the vault of the base. And there are two cobblestone walls all the way up to the height limit, which is like 256 or something, and they are all covered in water as well. And then the outer layer has all sand, and it is covered in water as well, all the way up to the height limit. So you guys can probably tell by that that it did cost quite a bit, and I'll be showing you guys the outside shortly. But here's the vault. We have quite a lot of armor now, a few dubs of it actually. My friend Austin257893 purchased the Arctic Rake, so we get lots of kits now. We get all this beautiful armor. And we've been PvPing a lot as well. He has flash bits too, so he can fix all the armor. Pretty nice rank. Alright, so let's head out to the outer core. Oh, outer core. And I'll show you that. So here it is, the outer core. This is where we were just at, which is, like I said, pretty much the core of the base, and it's covered in water, obsidian. So all the way up there, that's up the, all the way up to height limit, and this is the mob spawner, which I actually just purchased a creeper spawner for. I think you guys can hear them in the background. But uh, I got it for about $120,000, which is a pretty good deal. They usually go for around $200,000. So I'm pretty happy. Anyway, in these chests, we pretty much just store, like, basic resources that are pretty easy to get. Pretty much it's our crap chest. Nothing's really good in these chests. Here is the wall of trophy kills. And then, back here, I don't think there's actually anything in these chests. Maybe just a few random items. That's where Austin powered up, I guess. But yeah, not, not too much in there. That's actually a good pick in there, though. But yeah. And then up here, which is probably one of the best additions, is our Mushroom Cow Spawner. We were originally just going to spawn a few and then Silk Touch break it and sell it on the auction house. Except we realized that the entities will remove all of the mobs. So we decided just to keep it, and it definitely uh, lived up to its worth. Because we've used it quite a bit for... Losses of uh, soup and TVP. So, yeah, definitely worth it. No. And it's also a good source of just um, cooked beef steak. Because if you have an, a fire aspect sword, it just cooks it for you, which is pretty cool. No. So, that's that. And, yep, the creeper spawner, I think, is in there. Somewhere in there. Pretty nice mob spawner made by Austin. But that pretty much wraps up this episode, guys. Just wanted to show you the features of our new giant base. And more raids will be coming. I'm actually probably going to start recording some PvP soon. Uh, my PvP at Slash Spawn, not at the arena, just because I just like the area of Slash Spawn better. But I'll probably re be recording some of that content. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Let's Play.